day three of a little coronavirus diary. I'm actually going to keep it quiet today. For once, um, I'm filming from one of my clients' houses that I clean. I work for a cleaning company. I do cleaning for them and I do recruitment. So I look like shit. So I've got powder all over me because I've been wearing gloves, mm, obviously. Um, but he's not here, so I can be quiet today. I'm going to be quiet just so I don't, in case he comes back. Um, but yeah, I mean, so what's going on in the world today? I haven't been out there yet. Um, well, I, all I've done is take my little girl to school for her last day of school, last day of year two. Wow. Um, yeah, last day of year two. Um, I mean, I think deep down they're loving it because they're just going to be playing games and things and not actually doing proper work. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's actually, if, if everyone's realising that it's, it's actually, the kids probably aren't going to be going back until summertime. I mean, that's a long fucking time. April, May, June, July, August, September. That's like something like six months. Six months of having my kid at home. Six months of homeschooling. Are you for real? <laughs> um, but we, you know, needs must be. We have to do what we have to do. Um, I hate talking about Corona every day. It's driving me mad. I, I just want to talk about something else. I want to hear about some celebrity that's like gone cuckoo or... Some, someone who's like, you know, done something naughty on the internet or something like, I really, I really want to like hear a different story. I want to like hear like a new film coming out, like, even though you can't go and see it because the mouths are shut. But I was wondering what's going to happen with things like that, you know, like all the new films that are meant to be coming out, like Mulan and Peter Rabbit 2 and all other bits and bobs. And I mean, I don't know what's happening. Obviously, they're not coming out because no one's going to be in the cinema to watch it. But, um... I wonder if they're going to do anything else, because that would definitely keep like me busy. I think I've nearly watched the whole of Netflix. <laughs> um, so, what's different today? Nothing really. I was just speaking with my client actually about the situation. He works from an, he's working from home now, he's working from an office, so he um, talks to people around the world with his job. And... Um, he was saying apparently it's really, I mean, we all know, don't we, that it's absolutely awful at the moment in Italy. Um, I think it's getting worse in Italy. I think it's getting worse everywhere. But apparently in China, it's it's starting to slow down. That doesn't mean that it's, 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 it's okay, but it's apparently not as bad as it was. Um, apparently they've, they've got some vaccine that's got a hint of all different things in it, like swine flu vaccine and... HIV vaccine and I think something else and um, apparently they put it all in sort of one and they're using that to like treat people in China but apparently it's like helping so oh my god look can you imagine that vaccine that must make you feel like absolute shit before you get better but um so I suppose there's only hope isn't there uh so uh What's going on with me? What's going on with me? I mean, like I said, my little girl's school shutting today. This is one of the only jobs that I've got like left now. I'm self-employed. I do cleaning, but I also do recruitment. Obviously, no one's applying for a cleaner at the moment, and no one's applying to be a cleaner. So my job is very, very slow at the moment, losing money, but like uh, thousands of other families, I'm in that situation. Um, yeah, we've been given all stuff to help schooling our kids for the next couple of months I guess I didn't even think today about the poor like year six leavers I didn't even think about that the ones and and the year 11 or I don't even know what age you are now when you leave school um the leavers that aren't going to get like their little graduations and they're, they're not doing their exams and I mean to be fair I am quite happy that my little girl's not doing her year two sats because I think mentally I didn't agree I don't agree with it anyway I mean it's absolutely crazy to expect a fucking six year old seven year old to sit and do like tests like apparently answering about I think like 30 questions in like 45 minutes or something whatever it is I don't even know what it is but it's it's mental so I'm quite glad she's not doing that um I mean I feel terrible for the kids that aren't doing their GCSEs because I think deep down kids do you know want to do their exams and they do want to you know they, they kind of feel like that is starting them off in life you know um I mean, let's be honest, all of us adults know that when did we ever use fucking algebra outside of year 11 
when did when have we used like fucking art? Do you know what I mean? There's so many things you learn in there in school and you think I've never used that in school. But um So yeah, I mean <sighs> life's a bit shit at the minute. Everyone seems very eerie, everything's very strange. The shops are still mad, I guess. I haven't been to the shops today. I don't plan to. I mean I can't afford to like, you know, I think people are playing it safe and eating out and didn't getting takeaways and things and I just think I can't afford to do that at the moment. Um it's crazy. Uh so Mother's Day, Sunday. Apparently Boris Johnson says it's cancelled. <laughs> but um I guess we are supposed to be doing this social distancing, aren't we? You know, just I, I noticed yesterday I took my little girl to her swimming lessons and um which were open, which I was surprised. But I suppose people are thinking about things like chlorine, killing germs and I don't know. The changing rooms were the quietest and the cleanest I've ever seen them. And um, there was about three kids in the whole pool, including my kid. It was crazy. Um, and even sitting down in the like, gallery part, just when you're watching your little one swim, I was sitting here. There was someone else sitting way over there and someone else sitting way over there. Like, but it's, I suppose it's, it's going to be the norm now. Everyone keeps saying, you know, when it goes back to normal, when it goes back to normal, I don't think anything's going to go back to normal. Um, I think even when this is getting treated and everything's slowing down, I still think shit's going to hit the fan. I still think people will be panic buying. I still think people are going to be washing their hands 24-7 a day. Which, to be fair, did you not know before that you should be washing your hands like <laughs> that much? I mean, I guess we are being really careful now, washing our hands after we touch everything. But, um, I mean, they make me laugh in school. We're going to make sure the kids wash their hands before lunch, after lunch, when they go to the toilet, after they go to the toilet. Like, did they not do that before? <laughs> <laughs> but got to laugh or you cry. But yeah, I mean, oh, I've got this crap down my from my gloves. So yeah, uh, not much to report today, I guess. If anyone's got any information out there that anyone needs to know, I mean, I think we're bombarded at the moment with information and health, um, you know, advice and all that. And I mean, even people's operations are being cancelled left, right, and centre, aren't they? Um, which is crazy, but I suppose not, things that aren't urgent will have to wait. It's just the way it is. I would hate to be an NHS worker at the moment. I fucking applaud them, honestly. Really, really applaud them. I would no way. I mean, first of all, I'd be terrified to be in there catching anything. And secondly, just can you imagine the fucking moaning from people? Like, why am I waiting? Why am I doing this? I know I was sitting in the hospital the other day saying, why am I waiting an hour for an x-ray when no one's here? But I wasn't moaning at anyone. I was just moaning at myself. Fuck me, there's no way people can moan at the NHS staff at the moment. They are literally fucking doing all they can. And they're fucking overrun. And I don't even know if they're managing or coping. And some lady on the news the other day was asking one of the workers, are you coping? What other fucking choice do they have? Like, they have no choice but to say, yeah, we're managing. What, they're going to go, no, we're not managing, actually. We're quite, we're quite worried. I'm not going to fucking say that, are they? And panic everyone. Um, so yeah, I mean, just, like I said, next last couple of days, you know, guys, just keep safe, keep clean, um, your hygiene, keep your hygiene clean, I mean, every time you touch a door handle or anything you touch that someone else could have touched, you have to use a little bit of gel, you just have to, I know we're all getting, I'm getting the, my hands are dry as hell, but I'm creaming them, so that's what you can do, I'd rather have dry hands than have coronavirus, so, <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be interesting these next couple of months, I think. I'm trying to go by like day by day or week by week, but it's, it's, let's be honest, it's going to go on for a while, isn't it? Um, I'm meant to be going to Spain in May. That's not going to happen, is it? I feel really sad for my little girl because she was really looking forward to it. But, I mean, when everything, you know, I keep saying goes back to normal. When everything picks up again, let's say. Hopefully everyone can reschedule their flights and everything. I'm more worried about that. I'm more worried about the repercussions of this, you know, like how are we going to get back to normal after this? Like there's going to be fucking how many people needed to rebook flights and rebook f operations and rebook events and rebook fucking hell. Like, I can't even imagine how, like, how, oh, my mind is blown how many people are going to have to rebook shit. Fuck me. Um obviously they don't want businesses to everything at the moment like my daughter's gymnastics class has been cancelled 
I'm guessing a swimming class is going to be cancelled. Um, our holiday is being cancelled. Um, I'm doing a race in June. I'm guessing that's going to be cancelled. Um, you know, you just think like no one's giving the money back that you've paid out for things because you pay out for fees in advance. But it's like obviously if they do, the fucking company they're going to go bust. Um, so they're saying you know once everything gets back back to normal. I love that phrase. When we get back to normal, um, then apparently they're just going to sort it out that way. And I suppose it'll be like a month. You won't have to pay for that month, the month for your back and everything. But I think we could all do with the money back at the minute. <laughs> um, but it makes sense, doesn't it? Because we don't want all the companies to go bust. We need to get back to normal. Ugh. Fucking hell, that phrase. Um, everyone's been having a go at Trump. Have you seen that on the on the um, TV? Obviously, I'm over here in the UK, so I have no idea really what's going on over there, but because he keeps calling it the Chinese virus. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, Trump. <laughs> Honestly, he's off his nut, that one, isn't he? But, um, I mean, obviously, it originated in China and everything, but it, you can understand how that does not make Chinese people feel good going, well, you know, you're a Chinese virus. Fucking hell, Trump. Um, I think Trump and Boris should just get together and fuck off on their own island. <laughs> <laughs> they can just like amuse each other with their crazy fucking ideas that they've able to run the world. <sighs> um, so, again, like I said yesterday, not much has changed really, has it? People are still fucking panic buying. I'm glad they're doing this thing for the elderly now, for the hour they can go into shops on their own. They fucking need it. We would want to be an 80 year old person running around with these fucking nutters. I'm trying to get a fucking bit of potatoes or something, do you know what I mean? A bit of bread is fucking ridiculous. So I'm glad they're doing that for them. I notice all the crafts are going out of shops now. Every, all the, my parents are buying Easter crafts and things because I think we just can't be, we can't let them be bored at home, you know? <laughs> all the kids are going to be at home. Um, it's going to be fun, isn't it? That's, that's, what are you going to do? You're going to cry, you're going to laugh and keep going and carry on the British way, you know? Keep going and carry on. So. Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep carrying on. Let's keep calm. Try and only buy what you need from the shops. Um, try and distance yourself, I guess, from people. Don't be in a mass gathering. On Mother's Day, I'm going to try and get my mum and my nan over just to do like our own little afternoon tea. But other than that, we can't, we can't go anywhere. I can't have loads of people around or anything. So um, hopefully that's going to be nice. I'm quite looking forward to just... I think for a week or two it's going to be good. It's going to be like just chill time, like not running around after work and watching movies all day and baking with your kids and all that, and doing a little bit of practice work. And then when it gets to, I think, a week or two when you've got to start paying the bills at the end of the month and shit and you've done all you think you can, because <laughs> we've got six months to go, let's be honest. Um, I think then we're all going to start going fucking cuckoo. Yeah, I do think that's going to happen. We all need to stay calm. As long as we're not on lockdown, I suppose you, you can meet up with your friends and their kids. Maybe that's not too many people together, is it? Or people are saying avoid parks and other people are saying no, go to the parks. And say, don't touch the swings. Don't touch this. If you've got gloves on, you've got gel on your kid, what does it matter? You're not touching anything anyway. Obviously, try not to be right next to each other and you're breathing away. But, you know, I'll stand here and I'll say, hello, friend. How are you? <laughs> Fucking crazy, isn't it? I mean... I'm laughing, it's not funny at all. I'm laughing because if I don't laugh, what are you going to do, sit here and cry and get depressed and think the world's ending and stay in our beds forever and not get up? You know that emoji? That's my permanent face lately. And this one. <laughs> so, keep calm, carry on until you're told otherwise. If you have to, if you have to go to work, then go. If you're able to be at home, be at home, I would say now. I would say be at home. But, I mean, it's different. I live in a city where there's mass people, you know, there's so many people around. Some people live in areas where, you know, you're out in the country and you're breathing a bit of fresher air and there's not many people around. So if you live in a place like that, man, get out of there. I would. If I had, like, lived in the country or something with no one around me and I had a dog going up, I'd be walking it every day and out getting a bit of fresh air. But this is London. Ain't nothing fresh about this. <laughs> um, so we're doing what we can. I'm still determined to get out and about. Um, cause I can't be locked up inside. That would just make me feel shit. Shitter. So. 
everyone you're doing great i guess if you, i mean if we all listen to the public health warnings i think we will be okay do what we always do wash your hands keep your hygiene clean keep your house clean have a deep clean if you're at home stuck at home have a deep clean that's what i'm doing i've been doing um work from home if you can try not to i suppose mass gather um do things at home there's plenty of things online to be doing we're all, all gonna have to resort thank fuck for the internet you know what i mean really we all tell our kids to stay off it and shit but thank fuck for the internet now you know you've even got people doing exercises online for kids every morning and everyone's got the youtube channels like all the celebrities are doing songs every day it's like we've got our own little private concerts on live feeds it's really cool um and it might last it might it might be like a little novelty where after a week or two we're just like fuck this one and get back to reality now but we've got to stick it out guys we're all, we're all in this we're all in this together husker musical kid <laughs> Hashtag, I loved High School Musical. Um, back when I was like, what, 15, 16? I can't remember what it was. But we're all in this together. So let's just all do the same thing and we'll be okay. Let's not do our mass shopping. You know, if you've seen these countries, if you've seen Spain's on lockdown, if you've seen how full their fucking shelves are, they're going out and about and getting shops that they need, but they're not panicking because and then they've all got their gear. Come on. Let's chill. I'm going to get back to work and then I'm going to go home and chill. Meh. Keep safe guys.